Hi friends, did you know that some of the most beautiful flowers in your garden are edible? Well, it's a good day on Wild Coffee Homestead today. Dulcie is doing much better today. She ate this morning and she drank and uh, she's just acting much more like herself today. Thank you guys so much for all the care and concern that you guys have sent and the prayers that went up for her. We really appreciate you guys so much. I'm so glad she's feeling better. Thanks for joining me in the garden today. As I was out weeding and maintaining our butterfly garden, I was drawn to this beautiful flower. This is a canna lily. We have several different ones in our garden, but this particular one caught my eye. Uh, the hummingbirds just love these. They're attracted to them and of course the butterflies love them too. These are the seed pods that are left after the flower dies. I think they're just as beautiful as a flower actually. Um, after these seed pod, pods dry, they look kind of like this. Once they're dried, you can shake them and they have a little rattle to them. Just open them up. You're gonna see some little, little seeds here. More canna lily plants that easy but you do have to wait till they dry these are the pods after they dry here we're going to be going to a plant swap and a seed swap here next week i think i'll take some of those with me you might think because of the name canna lily that it's a lily but it's not a lily at all it's actually a member of the banana family you can kind of tell by the leaves it resembles the, the banana quite a bit. However, the leaves are not, aren't edible. You can also use the rhizome, which grows under the ground. We're gonna see if we can find a rhizome here. We're gonna dig one up and show you what they look like. There's the rhizome. Our harvest was a success. I knew if I dug in just the right place, I would find a rhizome that was big enough to show you all. In Vietnam, they actually harvest these and have a process where they make it into a powder. With that powder, they make a noodle. It's called a cellophane noodle. You might have heard of it, seen it in stores or the Vietnamese restaurants. Well, now you know where they come from. It's a very uh, transparent, clear noodle. It comes from the canna lily. So I came home from work today and I couldn't find my camera anywhere. It wasn't on my desk. I, I just didn't know where it was. And, and then I see this in my salad. Am, am I supposed to eat this? Hey. Hey, we could have an intervention for Wild Coffee Homestead. Could you send me some ice cream? Oh, <laughs> uh, I'll try it. Not bad. <sighs> We're on a crazy journey, aren't we? I'm glad you're coming along with us and we enjoy hearing from you. Is there anything edible in your, your garden? Is there anything that maybe others wouldn't realize that it's actually an edible flower, an edible plant. There's all kinds of them. Look around, see what you might be able to eat in your garden. Certainly having to eat it myself, but uh, hey, intervention, if you could send me some ice cream, that would be great. <laughs> or just subscribe, that would be wonderful. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of these crazy adventures. And uh, bon appetit. Mwah.